What's going on YouTube? This is Free the Road Fro and we're in Crawford and it's infested with walkers and um we got the battery but Molly has it. She's running Aaron. I don't know what she's doing, but she better bring it back. And uh Kenny and Bree got gas. And I would need this medication, but it is locked up. And I think there's like a combination, and we don't have it. And we're gonna have to just see how this plays out. But if you have subscribed yet, please do. I make plenty of good videos every day. And if you liked it, leave a like. I'd appreciate that. If you have any feedback or anything to say at all, leave a comment. And if you have any other sites like uh, Twitter or... I don't know if Instagram can share videos this long or Facebook can, but if you have any of those shared, just feel free to share. Just get the word out. I'd, I'd really appreciate that. Now let's get back to it. Oh shit, oh, oh, oh. Can we just guess the combination? It's a four digit code. You do the math. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. I forgot I had we to make a choice. Busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Um... Medical file. Oh. Korea. Oh. She must have been a patient here. What is that? Copier. It's bad. Uh oh ho 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 camcorder. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day eighty two since the outbreak. Fifteen forty seven. Doctor Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Uh oh. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence for a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Almost at the code. Damn it! We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. What the hell? You want me to go back out there? Fuck. No. Alright. This way? Yeah, it's this way. Gotta go back out here. Can't y'all come with me? Y'all just standing there. Okay. My blood pressure. My blood pressure. Okay. What? What the? 
Fuck. Is that a TV? Oh, this one in big back TVs. I know they hurt. What? Oh. Okay. Let's curb stump this guy. Okay. This might be just what we need. What's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Brian said the safe. Oh, that's the uh, locker combination. I think. Shit, time to go. <laughs> he ain't lying. Okay, good. I don't have to find my way back. Let's open this locker. Two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. I'm curious to see what happens. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living, if this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please, help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. What the fuck? Oh! Damn. No. So that's how he died. And he caused the outbreak. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. Blame. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for me. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Okay, so you'll leave me by myself. Okay. The Listen, as what? long as it was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms, and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can. But I have to look out for myself here. Yeah. That's the Crawford way, isn't it? 
Damn. So they was trading like six for medicine? Well, shit. Wow. I got a feeling something about to happen. Okay. Alright. What the Jesus Christ! the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah, uh, about that. What the fuck, Molly? I'm just kidding. Quit playing. Playing with my Here emotions. You and I put it in my pocket. What's that? Nothing. And quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place and their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. Hmm. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could, but in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. No, oh, sorry. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. Well, I don't care. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. What happened to the hatchet? spooked by those bells and then I heard someone coming did you leave Clementine alone no Kenny's with her we still can't open that armory door he sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open I found this uh, Ben where did you get that I just found it it was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there oh no oh, shit! fucking idiot oh shit like a shot. Oh, whoa. Shoot this fucker! Fuck. Sorry. It wasn't me! Holy kid, nice shot. What? Dang. Clementine Clutch. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn, damn it. it. I don't like Ben. This is my fault, all my fault. What the hell is he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. I let them in. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. No fuck. Way. It's been me all along, don't. putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. 
It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could take them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. Gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, I know you're upset. I understand. But you don't get to make a decision like that on your own. We're all in this together. We're a group. Sure! Take a vote! This is America! Fuck it! But before you all decide, there's something you ought to know. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's got to get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? Fuck. I can't do this right now. I abstain. We'll figure this out later. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Damn. Oh, my God. Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on. Damn. First the throat, then the stomach. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Oh, shit. Fuck! It's not going to hold. Back upstairs! Oh, shotgun. Lee, look! He's left still to get away. Get back. Get back. But the hell? Get your foot out the thing. Okay. So, oh, this is Sparta, bitch. What? What? No, my hatchet. That was cool. Come on! It's all right, Clip. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? 
Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! They come. I sat a lot of them. Come on, let's go! Oh, boy. It's over soon. I think you won't be able to let him go. We both know. Fuck, fuck. Let me go. Mm, I really do want to. That's the quickest decision I've made in this game. Like, I really did not like Ben. And plus, we need some room on our boat. Okay? Oh, me! What happened? She did? Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Uh, hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. I feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? Uh. Didn't make it. I'll drop him. Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. Nice going, asshole. What's eating you? Yeah, I did what I had to. But I don't expect Clementine to understand that. Hell, I don't want her to understand it. You did the right thing. Trust me, she'll understand. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on it. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. About what? Um, uh, listen there, about what happened with me. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now... It's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of offer? An offer? What? I'll take her off your hands. Take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. 
And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? You're coming at me with a lot here, Vernon. I need to think it over. Of course, take your time. But I want you to think about some things. You chose to let that boy die back in Crawford. I gotta wonder about the morality of the kind of man who would do something like that. I got to wonder what kind of parent you'd be. Well, Ben caused the deaths of two people and his liability, so he had to be gotten rid of. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. It sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. I guess so. Alright, let's go talk to Clem. Pretty sure she's very upset. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Mm. Clem, you have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well, she was right. Hmm. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem. But I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Sorry. <sighs> Tough fellas. Clementine? Uh-oh. 